eating the facts. Otherwise known as Vibes Cartel. In 2011, I was charged for murder by way of a statement which indicated that I had ordered Lenberg McDonald to murder Barrington Buzzy Burton. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all are doing good. Hope you all are doing great. Say a boy here, come across this one. We're in. The main headline is Vibes Cartel send a message straight to Muta plus Muta Baruka tackled a lot in this one. So guys, this one is gonna be really, really a warm, warm one. So you wanna stay tuned. And don't forget, I'm here on the Black Unity program. So feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. If you're new, with that being said, let's go ahead and hear what Muta Baruka. That's to say, let's dive jump into this one. Well, I'm going to read it. Because there are certain things that uh, take place where I'm really at, 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 at meditate upon. This is Adija. So you pronounce the names of? Yes, Adija. Adija Palmer. Stating the facts. Otherwise known as Vibes Cartel. In 2011, I was charged for murder by way of a statement which indicated that I had ordered. Lenberg McDonald to murder Barrington Buzzy Burton. I well, all right, now we have a reason. Late the witness gave a statement to the public defender saying that he was physically harassed and threatened by the police to say that I was involved in Buzzy Burton dead. Days later, he gave another statement to the public defender saying that since he recanted the first statement, he has been getting death threats via calls to his phones. Days after my first murder charge, I was charged with another murder. Clive Lizard. In this case, the police, by way of a senior superintendent, who was later charged with attempting to pervert the course of justice, in a separate incident, campaigned on a Monday morning on a certain TV station Claiming they had a hey, vibes cartel. What kind of believe? <laughs> Let's see, make it so like me can't read now. All right. Claiming they had more evidence which came back seven months later as negative. They also had the public, led the public to believe that they had a videotape of me and my co-accused murdering Williams. I would like to add that the public, the police made a lot of damaging remarks against me. A most notable one would be, quote, since his arrest, the community is a safer place, unquote. On the 4th of November, 2011, a search was made by the Caribbean Search Task on my call on my cell block at the Gun Court Remand Center. Three cells are on the block I, where I was located. 
when the search was done, only a phone battery was found in the cell. Beside my cell, I was present as well as another remandy in my cell, plus one remandy in the cell that the battery was found, and two remandies in the In addition to the search, the search team comprised of police and JDF soldiers and the police on duty stationed at the remand center was present. Following the search, I was remanded to the Horizon remand center that same day and was charged for a Four days later, with attempting to pers pers sorry, with attempting to pervert the course of justice, when the file relating to my charge was handed over to my lawyer, the police indicated that a phone was found in my cell, and to all right. On January 22, 2013, the Caribbean search team conducted a search of cell block 2 of the Horizon Remand Center. That is the block where I am located. The cell are numbered 17 to 24. There are right cells on the block. There, there is all right, they are right. There are eight cells on the block. A search of my cell number two was done, and nothing was found. No contrabands whatsoever. In addition to the search, the team, the warders were who work at Horizon. Mm, the warders who work at Horizon. Namely, whatsoever, whatsoever, we don't call him name, whatsoever, whatsoever, we don't call him name, knowingly bring the Horizon search team over. All warders present monetary. All warders were present at the search. The search it was monetary. Three phones were found in cell 19, occupied by one George Cooper. Three cells were found in ward 19, occupied George Cooper. And one phone given to the search team by an occupant of cell 20. On Saturday, February 16, 2013, my lawyer... Miss Valerie Nita Robertson showed me a document uh, produced in in a bill hearing. All right, my lawyer Nita Robertson showed me a document produced in a in a bill hearing by the prosecutor, signed by a high-ranking member of the JCF, which states that. Three cell phones were found in my cell during a search on January 22, 2013. My bail was denied based mainly on this blatant lie by the high-ranking police. I would very much like the public and the world To read this letter impartial to yeah to read this letter impartially and until and I am demanding that in in the, the all right I'm demanding that the human rights organizations and the powers that be investigate the events that took place on the morning of November the 4th, 2011, and January the 22nd, 2013. I have been in custody since 
on the 30th of September 2011. And him sign him name, don't so. Okay. P.S. I have written to the... I have written to Indacom twice. One letter was delivered by my common law wife in early February and one by attorney at law, Mr. Miguel Lan, on our one on uh, about one was on about the, the 20th of February, both in 2013. And uh, the true, oh, all right, ah, all right. And, and relating the true record of the search as it relates to what was found where where is at the horizon center i don't i i doubt i will get the same equitable outcome at gun court remand because only this fellow officers police work there I Palmer, everything as it relates to my case is a fabrication. Everything is pure fabrication. Don't know who come, who I may have stepped on in the past, but it is now coming back to aunt me. A Palmer, crying out from himself black otherwise known as Vibes Cartel, send me that note. We did what we were supposed to do. We read it. Stepping Razor. This is the Stepping Razor, the art of war. We're there with you. And may I tell you, may I tell you, Jamaica, it's like you're on the, the edge of a cliff. Yeah, we're there on, it's quite all over there on the edge of a cliff here right now. And that little song there where where, where, where um, Michael Jackson is singing about heal the world. And now we say, the little sister, Xylophone, come do it over there. It's, it's really an appropriate song. But every time we make a good song, we hear two negative songs. Because I'm still on a while ago and I listen to some tune out there. I may tell you, when we hear the youth, they may make. I listen to a tune named... El Capo, I, I saw the show name, about the criminal, where, where, where them all in, a, in a Mexico there. And then me I hear some, me I say, how oh, can people, is what? El Chapo. El yeah, El Chapo. And him, and, and not him, it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah him don't know no different, you know, him don't know no different, you know. And El Chapo. Yes. Him don't know no different. Hush, 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 you just have youth. El Chapo. A man, a man, a man, a glorified El Chapo. I'm not wrong with that. The things them when me hear that the song, supposed to go against the next one. It's like, and you know the thing about it? I hear people always say about dance all or reflect what in the society. Nothing goes so. Right now, the man, them are create things for make it happen in the society. And that me listen to. Me, me listen to about a dozen tune this man in my hotel room. I mean, I said, this is not, this is not somebody or someone who are seeing a situation in them community and trying to help to alleviate the problem in them community. What this youth is doing is to create problems amongst the citizens in the community and outside of the community. Because I can't believe, say, a sensible youth our sensible youths in at this time yeah. seeing we are going in the society can make them kind of cut kind of tune there and then we are talking about say we can we, 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 art is free for talk freedom of speech watch everything free for though but everything i know, I know everything good for though everything free for though but not everything good for though and if we have a situation in a jamaica where the things stay that way there and you have people who try to rectify the thing either through social interventions, even through the music, through the art farms, and all these things. And then you have some youth who's very influential, very influential, even more influential than all of the other people them who are trying a thing. 
what is the purpose? Because me, well, I don't know. I don't know how oh, 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 people. I mean, when me a youth, me, 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 me did I try to say, you know, intervene in a school programs and as a black power youth, very political, just aside Rasta, we want going to the school, them get this and, you know, going to a certain community and, and all these things as youth. We grow bigger, we try to use the art farm to create a level of thinking and a mindset and a consciousness amongst the people them. Them are you I mean, really, three minutes, three minutes span a CD, three minutes you have. And three minutes where you have, you are talking about to kill a next man, chop him up, put him in like this, in a broad daylight, you're going to make your gun empty upon him. I, I mean, like a next man know him sit down there like him at the biggest gun, a send man for go kill people. And the youth, them are see it in that first time you're going to hear it, you know. But them say a word, what you see, have more impression upon you than what you hear. And you see, now you see an ear, it's a, it's, it's a triple, double weapon that you know, you get, you know. So, like, when, when a man make them tune, you know, say a man lick against a next man, and a next man know this and next man, and I call this tune. They might diss the tune, they might diss one another now. The reflection amongst the youth, them, you know, is not that we are saying maybe like one of us killed the other one, you know. We don't know. But this up half of the man, they might say the tune, them, you know. They might tell somebody out there to go do with them, say, you know. But uh, if, if a man don't ever do with them, say, you know, the, 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 the mannerism of the youth, them, towards this music, cause a kind of indiscipline. In the youth, them consciousness. It's a serious thing. And we now, we, we, we now, we now check that, you know, because every time you talk about dance hall and negative dance hall, you hear some, some little people run around the corner about, you see them a fight against dance hall. Them no want dance hall. This and dance hall are the most popular genre of music in Jamaica right now, without a doubt. Dance hall music. So all the old people, them, we are living in a bubble. Take it and carry go to the shop. Dance hall music is the most popular genre of music coming out of Jamaica right now in the world. When I talk about world now, I talk about the Caribbean, Africa, Europe, and America. Now we are very conscious that a whole heap of youth in, Amer in, a, in a Europe kind of more gravitate towards the, the reggae, the reggae music. But here one now, you see the influence of the dance hall with all the dance or comedy. Because so cultures go there, you know. Culture go there, not with just lyrics, you know, but with uh, all, your, all your dress. Just like how when Rasta did just come on here. Yeah. Rasta come on here, yeah, not only with all your, 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 your say, I last, you know, but come with a culture. That's why pure red, gold, and green around the place, you know. Ital food, locks, and all them, something like that. That is part of the Rastafari culture where take and life. Now the dance hall culture, take life. Whether we want to accept it or not. Whether whole people want to say, no, no, go so on them thing there. Me now living in a bubble. Me know. So dance hall, when, when, when the, the younger, the younger um, singers in America, them not, them not hearing reggae music. What they might hear is the popular music now. That is what they deal with, like Rihanna and, you know, Nicki Minaj and all these people. It's young people. I listen to young people and I try to mimic young people. So when we hear all a man like all Vibes Cartel, you now we know it's a Vibes Cartel and, and the youth, they them just arrested, with them saying, him sick, you know, what's him name? The one that tattoo up him skin and appear murder lyrics there. Not, not 50 cents. The other one man, don't and him thing come from down south, the man. Little Wayne. Little Wayne. Uh, uh, in sick, but here one now. No, we're not li getting sick with him. We just say, the, the, the lyrics where him project is with vibes cartel copy in terms of how him look and all them way there. You understand? And now vibes cartel now have people that copy him and him become the world boss. You know, see? So now, what we have now is a, is a cycle 
of decadence and cycle of indiscipline of going in the Jamaican society will lead to a man who have no respect for nothing. A youth who have no respect for nothing. You have school youth right now. It's like them going and say them no go to school. Imagine you have school youth and see if we buy a gun. Oh, Jamaica reach the Sorasta. Oh, Jamaica reach a place where youth are going to school. Say, boy, I'm going to forget the same thing by Christmas. And where am I get it from? And where Brian get the same one from? <laughs> eh? Oh, 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 a youth where should I learn and I study? I think, say, him I forget the same one by Christmas. You have 14, 15, 16 year old youth that walk up and down with gun at night time. Unobated. Look what go on Spanish. I, I must say about eight or ten people murdered since one or one week in a Spanish town alone, you know. In a Spanish town. Man find man without head and man shut up this and that and that land. Meanwhile, back in the, the new garrison in Mount CLM, we are seeing progress with the with the with the source at come Shamara, correct me. Before I met your, your, your boss, I'm coming along and say, oh, you have moved as a Zosa. What's his name? Zosa. Zosa? Yes. That's too hard for my tongue. That's too hard for my tongue. Zona I can't talk so long. By the time I talk, that is advertisement time. See the zone, see the click it. Can't. Well, we start with the whole heap of reason early in the program. I yeah, can't help it because me is part of the music fraternity, according to what me hear people are saying about music fraternity. I've been making music before a lot of these people who is, is big in the music business now. And may I tell you, say, gun lyrics is not a new thing. Because Bob Marley, I sing, say, my rude boy and all them things from them time there. But the kind of lyrics that I hear these people with, and when you talk against the lyrics, you hear some people out there who, who are talking about, yes, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech? If you say these things, and say man free to do what he want to do, and it's, uh, people must look about them family, them children. And them, you cannot look about your children and these little idiot you them run up and down all over the place with them lyrics all over the place and tell man to kill man and shoot man and this man. And then... The youth, them are mimic the idea. Mimic the idea. And in mimicking the idea, it brings about a certain kind of attitude. It's a certain attitude that follows these kind of lyrics, you know. Not to mention how them dance in the dance hall. And the way women are perceived in the dance hall. I may not turn my eye from the things they want me to say. Because I profess not to be a Christian or a very righteous person, but I have said to you, when a woman can cock out her bumper and make people a light fire and her in the dance hall, me I say, what the hell is going on here? Brian, you know the woman them where, where you see a light fire and eat them? You see them in a dance. I don't, I, 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 well, it's, it's fun that. They're sick. What do you mean them sick? They're not your kind of girl then. No. <laughs> no. Let me see one of them light fire and one, one man one man light a fire and it one of them and couldn't out. <laughs> she have to draw. <laughs> no, Rasta. No. Believe you me. No, be, no. Do man have to draw down all her things them. And I run because the fire catch. The fire catch all that it, you know. Me say it's, it's, it's women these. It's, it's women who have children, you know. And this is a a culture that is extremely extreme because that is where it reached you now. It reached a level where the, 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 the most decadent and the most cruel thing a man feel like him can't say, him going to say it on a CD. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the highest, him, if him can't tear from top of a light pole and if, if he can't tear from top of one of one of one of um, IRFM pole them and jump off on a woman and you have a woman who will lay down there for him take the jump. You have women going to lay down there in the bedroom. And then you have some people that come from Russia and Germany and learn to do them dancing too, you know. Come and see them every Saturday. Sure, every Saturday. I go out and pray and see them. I, I, them and learn to do the move them. 
That's them do have to send for Jamaican dancers. Just like all the Japanese, them stop sending for Jamaican artists now. Them have them own bounty killer. Them have them own Movado. Them have all them own dub poet in a Japan. I tell you, I go to one, one club one night in a Tokyo to write, you know. I'm going to stand up there and hear the music. Up. It's when I look. I see about a dozen no man come in, you know. It's when I look. I pay a shot, you know. It's, if you ever see what they have on, you know, Rasta. You see when them start dance, when them start dance, not a spice, could a nice. May I tell you? So them, they, they, them copy the thing and take it over and carry it over for them play. So them really have to send for nobody they saw. You understand? The Russian them come, see them way. The Russian them, as a matter of fact, where the Russian them we all do is send for the dance group them to teach them dance in a Russia. And then pay them a little money, send them back. And then now, them now become the art of this kind of dance move. And the same thing, the same way where you see the girl, them are going in at the dance hall. It's that now take over. It's the popular culture that. It's an underground culture again, you know. Dance hall music, kind of underground music, you know. Because all the little... Popular guys, them in America now, them either sample or try to get close to the most popular one in America, in a Jamaica now, if you do tune with them, collaboration and all these things. Meanwhile, them are make the millions still, you know. And when, when a man has some have all a hundred thousand US, him feel like same reach, you know. You know, see, but the man they have hundred million US. You know, see. So we jump up and down because. You know, yeah, we can buy a certain car. It's the man that pulls off with them car. Watch out Brian Licklemore. Watch if you know see Brian Licklemore go pose in a car. Because he might too little watch by the man and I put it on Facebook like it's the biggest thing. The biggest thing to him, you know, if you have to watch. Them no look good. Wait till them can't work, them no work. Shamara said them not work. The watch them not work. <laughs> Shavara no easy no Shavara to watch them but Brian have no work. <laughs> no. Oh, oh we get this all. Oh we reach this all. Oh we reach this all Rasta. Oh we reach this all where every day you look pan. I'm glad say I'm glad say Brian put me on the Instagram thing. You know, what? Take off what? Take off what? You. You have to tell him say you have a twin and one of them and you're one. <laughs> me say, Gotcha. Every day. I don't know how much picture somebody can take of himself. So much. How much picture. After you take two pictures yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. a picture. But every day you have a new picture. Pan this thing. Here. Where you pose for? We don't go 100 people like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you think we could, I mean, like 90 people. You know what I mean? Really? <laughs> Where you do that for? Is that true? Most people with them today, they're not they play, you know, you know serious thing. No, what we, 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 good for? What is, what is it? What it develop? What, what, what it develop in the human spirit? Or what it develop in the human consciousness? Because most of the time you do something, it's supposed to benefit you spiritually or physically. No, when, when you pierce that and you say, you do it for the like, all right? 50 likes, two comments. I said, when you comment, wow. That's a comment, you know. <laughs> a guy, a guy, a comment, but I'll show you a picture. Wow. <laughs> you see that a comment? No, I'm supposed to say, boy, show right? Your eyes are like stars that glow in the night. And, you know, wow. if I had your eyes, I would put it in the middle of the road that no accident would happen. And then we had it. And then kind of weird. Yeah. You don't expect, but wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, how the hell, how the hell it reaches all? How much picture somebody can put on Instagram so that make them look different? Every day, every day, somebody post a picture. The same person. I don't have a call on him, you know. Because I start calling him, you can see a whole pa people road coming. I'm out of way you deal with that. Somebody can post a picture with two watch. Wash out gold watch. I look at the shaman right now. Work. Like they watch them now. Work. When I put the picture of them to make it look like, yes. Somebody PM 
somebody give him some money if you go pay them light bill. And him depend on Instagram account out the money like a female. He <laughs> 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 might count out the money like a female. I don't feel money here, but he might count out the money like it's fee money. And I paste it up on Instagram and I say, see there? You know, say one day would I get rich. But you know, say we're rich, but we not switch. Eh? He might have a licky blind man, make him go good stitch. No, sir. Them a, them a thing, a, them a thing, a, it, 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 it weird. It weird. Every, every dance hall video now of a girl with her bottom in her face. A wine. There's nothing else. Or, if it's some man in it, them have gone. Them have the biggest gun them in there are threatening people. Or I run up and down with, or I tell you who them were kill and who them did kill and all them something there. Every dance all thing I, I, I just that's so it there. All the thing reached there so and people are saying no, them not see nothing wrong with it. Them not see nothing wrong because you want you see if you get a you see, if you have a good education, if you have a good education, you know, and your family is whatsoever them is and them thing there. When you look on them thing that you just pass it, you know. It, you know, affect you, you know. Yeah, so, like for instance, now you see all popcorn or Mavado and, and, and the other one, Alkaline at war. Them things, you know, affect uptown youth, you know, because them have something for lean back pan when them go home or when them in them corners and them are watch it and them don't watch that. Them family structure is positive towards the family. But you see a youth now come from the garage line and the ghetto where they have no no family structure for lean back pan and the artists continue to push that and I push that and then I say I blame the family when it's him I push the fire and the water I put upon the fire you know, it's more fire I put upon the fire and then when I say well you can't blame the artist well I don't care what I want to say you know. me I blame the artist them in Jamaica especially the artists when I say them are dance all artists if you are holy party in discipline, we are going right now in the streets of Kingston and the other parish them. In discipline. Because the youth them we are going to school now have no discipline. Whether them is man or them is woman, them now have no discipline. So what we are going to do? We have to do something. And it's just that the bravery is, is not there to do it. People the people them always in charge of certain things is not willing to do it because they're scared. Look how long we hear them talk about zone for keep show late. You know how long that they're on the board from when we might look at you named Damian Crawford. Damian Crawford attack said they're going to make zone of not zone of operation. What them call it? No? Because I mix up zone, you know, you know. Zone for keep music late. How long that I go on, you know? Them can't find no zone up to you know. But them find a zone for kind of to go make it into a garrison. Because all the year I go on, you know. You see, we are going in a Mount Salem is how garrisons are created, you know. It's how them create garrison. How politicians create garrison. Me want certain things to work. Me want the crime, the gun, them and all them things there for cease. But you see, politician, and we said last week, you see, two minutes is the politician them. Create the monster, and now the monster is like a is, is, is like the PNP and the GLP is like a two-headed dragon. So when you cut off one head, the body is the same body, but it was two head. So it no matter which head they there, you know, it's the same body, it's the same because the body control the head. And if if you chop out the two head, then. But you see the people, them no, them no want to chop off PNP and GLP. They want to chop off one another end. And it now make no difference to nothing. Click it. Yes. This is the stepping razor. The art of war. So, we want to play this. We're going to play this thing out because something I go on where we don't understand why is it that i mean we understand about opposition i oppose the next man and thing but you see when 
GLP oppose PNP and PNP oppose GLP. It's not the same thing. It's, 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 it's a political thing that go on amongst these two set of party away. It leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Because over the couple of weeks, you know, something happening in Jamaica where, all right, let me try quell the crime thing so them send off some police and soldiers in our area and they won't see them. Because them say, them say, and them keep a going like say, them never say it. Them say that the crime rate in that era is very aston astonishing. And them even mention numbers. Only if you come back, come here, say, you know, the month where they matter, you know, from the year start, I'm going to say murder in the area. But they know them find other things to say. Yeah, but the intervention is very important. But the pretext by which you do something first, if it is wrong, everything going wrong. You can't start out with a wrong and get right. So, if the first information is wrong, we now go say the thing don't wrong. Because really and truly, it did wrong from the first. It's like I want to tell a lie I expect say, the lie I go bring him to the truth. But lie, bring a next lie. And the lie, bring a next lie. It's just so lie go. You understand? So, we want to make the people them know, say, where we see a guan right now. Supposed to go on, but, and we always have to say but, and we have to look through one eye. It's politicians that do it. I guess when politicians do things in Jamaica, we have to look on it with one eye. As a matter of fact, we have to all dim the eye too. And put on our glasses on the eye where we open. Dark glasses too. Because these people, and you see, the Prime Minister, that young Prime Minister where we have there, we're born after independence. You see, when him attack, and you listen to him good, you know, say that brother there, him smart, you know. Yeah, man, him smart, man. Him smart, even though. I see a paper where I can't tell that on the radio I was too weak. Because you have you have people who who where them call it school fee in a Jamaica. You know, me not gonna say that. Me not gonna say that. Me not gonna say that. Cause Shabar and so they have fret the right thing. Me not gonna say that. But we could go back to where the talk with the Prime Minister. It's a smart youth. Very, very smart youth. I we can't say him smart. Him so smart that he make the other one them who older than him look like show them a whole time thing. He had a new face of Jamaica, you know. But really and truly, we have to really check it. We have to check it. We have to go to the news and come forward. Good afternoon, I am Patrice Walters with the local and international headlines. Minister with a portfolio in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries, J.C. Hutchinson, has welcomed the partnership between Safari Agriculture Jamaica Limited and h &L Agro for the distribution of a new line of fertilizers. However, Mr. Hutchinson has expressed dissatisfaction with the large quantities of food imported into Jamaica, some of which are grown locally. Speaking at the Safari product launch in Kingston yesterday, Mr. Hutchinson said it is critical to increase local food Food production in order to reduce Jamaica's high food import bill, which now stands at over 800 million US dollars. He says the focus of the ministry has been to develop strategies to support increased production of some of the major food items that Jamaica currently imports in large quantities, such as Irish potato and onion. 
The Jamaica branch of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, CPA, will host a five-person delegation from the CPA UK branch next week. The delegation will be in the island between September 17 and 22. While in Jamaica, the UK parliamentarians will have meetings with local parliamentarians, other government officials, private sector representatives and community groups. The visit forms part of a bilateral exchange between the Jamaican and UK parliament. Operations at the Kingston offices of the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development will be relocated from its current Hagley Park Road location. This follows approval by Cabinet. Portfolio Minister Desmond McKenzie says the Ministry is contemplating leasing the current property once relocation takes place. He says a security risk assessment conducted by the Protective Service Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force concluded that the current location represents a clear security risk to staff, clients, ministers and visitors of the Ministry. Mr. McKenzie says there is a rat infestation at the current location and that the insufficient sewage facility poses a serious challenge. Additionally, he says there is insufficient parking for workers and visitors alike. In news overseas, days after Hurricane Irma tore through Florida and left millions without power, residents are slowly returning to find ruins in some of the hardest hit neighborhoods. Recovery is only getting started and some areas remain flooded. Utility companies are working to restore power to the battered Florida Keys as frustrated evacuees emerge from shelters ready to go home. Officials said about 2.5 million utility customers are still without power in the state Thursday the afternoon. Parts of central and southern Florida will be at sweltering 90 degrees for several days with humidity making it feel like the mid-90s. Finally, at least 50 people have been killed in two attacks in southern Iraq. A suicide bomber detonated a vest and gunmen opened fire inside a restaurant. Soon afterwards, a car bomb exploded at a nearby checkpoint. So-called Islamic State said it carried out the attacks. Shia Muslim pilgrims, including Iranians, are thought to be among the dead. More than 80 people were injured in the attacks, many of them seriously, and health officials say the death toll could rise. Those were the local and international headlines. Major news is next at 5.45. From the RFM Newsroom, I am Patrice Walters. Tepin Razor. I don't know what people see the news where the, the, the Barbados police them sees a massive haul of gun and ammunition that come in from Trinidad. I mean, you talk about guns in a plastic. Massive haul are come in from Trinidad to Barbados. I want life is a conspiracy upon the Caribbean, man. Believe you me, you know. Because Barbados, them say the economy of Barbados are dwindling, you know. And now we see this massive hall, you know. Maybe this is the one where them find, you know. Because you just imagine how much gut get through. Because sometimes when you see them find all 10, you know, it's all 50 that gone through for a long time, you know. But it's not an easy look, you so I can't tell where I get the news here. Eh? Massive gun haul in a Barbados coming through from Trinidad. Then put it in a car part. Car part. The thing the man. Them, them. Why a man that want send gun in a country and see people are kill off one another? That it, it, what is it that spur these people to say? All right, Bridget, I send a bag, barrel of gun long at Jamaica. You know, I want receive it. What is it that's spurring these things on? Because it now makes the life, who for life are better because of that? Who, who for life? Definitely not the man them who are fired the gun, them, them life not better. All you see, man, I kill man out there, so them life not better, you know, them are not enhance them life, them not, them not get big house, big car, pretty wife, you know, visa, all these things. Them now get them things there. I can't tell you, them say most gun man poor. So if, if, if it now enhance your life, will make your life be more meaningful, where you have to dodge every minute, what is the purpose of it? How oh, a man can live him life so? Every day he gets up him have to dodge. It's either I'm bridging I come kill him or police I come kill him. Somebody can live them life so Rasta. He can't go to church. 
More time can I go a dance? Because if you go a dance, somebody on the dance, I go see him and say, hey, it's, it's Brian there, you know. Long time you want to see the boy, you know. You understand? So me I say, what kind of life that? Can somebody please tell me? I don't like a man who a fire gun call me and tell me, say, Mota, a fool is in the attack, you know. Because a man who rent a gun. A man who get a gun. Give, give a man a gun for go eat a food or a fight. And you know the weirdest thing about them gun thing there? Because I remember them did say in the Vibes Cartel case where it's a gun where it's supposed to it come back and them never get it back. Them weird they cause the whole people upset and uproar. You can imagine now <clears throat> you a man say I want to eat a food and you say alright, see a gun, you go and go eat a food. And they go eat a food with the gun. And then he may run away from police and drop the gun and missing. He may not worst, he may not problem, you know, because he can't go back to the man who gave the gun to them, bring my gun, come give me. What you talk about, boy? I lend you the gun because you eat a food, I know you disrespect my food. Bring the gun, come give me. So how that work out? You're going to live your life, so. I saw you're going to live your life, brethren. Where you, act, you, you continuously have your hide like a rat. No, sir. Life not life not make the way there. And then now we see this thing, you know, where some Chris gun, on the play play gun, them like, like, like where Bunting are allude to. Some Chris Chris gun end up a Barbados. I wonder if it's a miscalculation. I wonder if it's just so it didn't try to come, but them miscalculate. It's during the course of the, the hurricane, them thing they happen. Why? Why? The thing's sad, right? It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. You know, when we say it's sad, it's sad. Looking upon these news, yeah. I mean, see, a man has sent me some news, yeah. I mean, the one little good news that we get is, is the youth were jumping at the river, jumping at the gully. Because, and then they turn out in another problem, you know, because somebody will come up and say, oh, me did help save him too, you know. And that I want to come out to them, you know, they help to, oh, them have boost up him and never, and, and then the woman who video the thing, you know, I say, them have to pray, pray she to because she put the thing on video. And then I want to say, boy, she see one, somebody on the TV, I go on like, say, them, they put the thing on the video, and I fear a woman, because you can't search for her phone, and she see she first, they put the thing there, and she shoot the thing. And it just get away. A nice, beautiful thing where a youth save a youth, and it did it. So a man, I said, boy, he can't get the praise alone. A praise without raise him, I'll get job and all these things. People are giving him out until they want to me, who did hold him and take him out of the water. You know, it just reaches so. Why, well, I may I tell you, in a Jamaica, everything wrong and everything right. May I tell you, man, everything wrong and everything right. Listen up, the special part dries up next. Ain't not ready yet. Okay, we still have a little time. Yeah, we, 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 we see these news here yeah. gunfire in flankers. That's a friend when? The other day. I don't even know if anybody knows say fire did a shot, shot did a fire up a flanker. You know near flanker is all right. After only ten days, the residents of Mount Salem are now able to express a level of relief as they now feel free to venture throughout the community without fear to sleep with their windows and doors open. No. Them statement there is statement why me not like politicians, you know. No, serious thing, you know. Do a statement. This is the man who will tell you, say, you can't leave your door open, but when them win, they're going to make you sleep in the door open. So, I'm prove to you now. I'm going show you now, say, see there? The people of CLM can leave them door open. No, I tell you the truth. If me deliver CLM right now with someone, police and soldier, I would have now in my bedroom when me and my wife have sex. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> Nothing. You think, say, you, you think I'm a criminal, I'm an idiot? You, you, you think I'm an idiot? If you see someone police and soldier around there, and I'm going to do something out there, after me, I'm a madman. Eh? Not, that is the same example of what I did say before I come, before I come um, prime minister, you know, that... I did tell you, no, say, when you go sleep on the door, and go tell the people in my Spanish town that. And Clarendon. And Jarrett Lane. Go tell them that. 
and where they could murder them, we go on a flanker. Which part of flanker? The flanker is near there, you know. Flanker is near there. Flank, I'm so murder. Go on a flanker this week, you know. Me don't understand these people. Why am I said that to the people them? Why why that statement is important to say now? Because it did make a mistake, an error in your judgment when you were not a prime minister. But now you're the prime minister and you have many, many police and many, many soldiers in our area. Believe you me. Then obviously the people them not feel safer. The people that must feel safer, Rasta. But flank, but 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 but, but Mount Salem is not Jamaica. And uh, this 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 plan where them have for Mount Salem, even though we want it for work. But oh, when we talk to the police, them that are there, I'm um, superintendent and to say, as long as it takes, as long as it takes. You see all them plan where them have it. I don't know one year plan that you know. So if the people in the Mount Salem feel say, all where you hear them attack or go, go on by Christmas, they make a sad mistake. It's another illusion they put the people them in. A, them think they don't take, they go fix drainage, that the, the, the stagnant water and they put on the road and make the light and, 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 and all these things. The, the people them, the people them, I tell you Rasta, the people them in a something with themselves where it's almost ridiculous. Ridiculous. We don't know how the people them get it in a them head that way there. Wow, I'm going to the CD player. Work it out for me now. Work it out for me. Because I don't understand why it, it's stuck up there. I saw you have to put After it. Are you much of the people them CD now? The residents of Brian Mount Salem the are there. now able to express a level of relief as they now feel free to venture throughout the community without fear to sleep with their windows and doors open. We had, for example, a tweet from Zosa Communications suggesting that two homemade guns were found. But in fact, these appeared, certainly from the pictures, to be just board guns, fake guns, toy guns. Well, it is in... When we look at the police statistics, the week before, it said 43 homemade guns. And the week after the announcement, it still said 43 homemade guns, which means they are treating it as fake guns, not homemade guns. Mr. Speaker, in response to the member from Central Manchester, I will ask the police to have a demonstration of the fake guns on you. <laughs> and then... All right, now. To the bridge who called me last week and say, me I make a mockery of the thing. Listen to them two politicians now. And tell me, if it's, this is in a parliament, you know, this is the place where laws are made, legislation is given and all these things. And this is the highest person in Jamaica. The most honorable. Where my name again? Andrew Wellness. And the divine one. Peter the divine. These are two men that is mocking each other. Because one says, play, play, gun them fine. And they make a big national issue out of it. And then I want to say, all right, stand up, stand up out there, so I make, make the policeman them fight the gun at you. I see what happened. <laughs> they be cool, I got to take them people that serious, Rasta. <laughs> Me and I look mad by the radio, yes or no. Wait. I mean, really, I truly know. Oh, we can't take them money as serious. Because really, a man in a parliament. And I thought, what the police them fight, play, play, gun. It must prove says play play gun. Because it, 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 for the argument, you know, is that even if it's wooden gun, it can cause, it, it can threaten you. A man can use a wooden gun and threaten you. A man can use a, a pipe and threaten you to stick a pipe on your back and your piece says a gun that's in your back. Right? All right. So, really and truly now, he want to discredit the source of thing by saying, Oh, they might go let them find what you pack on. You know, so say I, I really um play play gun them fine. And the Prime Minister, who is a very intelligent and articulate person, and very quick pan him draw, no pun intended, 
very quick for them draw and say, look your man. All right? You think it's play, play, go out, go, go stand up because I <laughs> <laughs> No! No, these are the end. These are the end. These are the end. Of the- we will find out whether or not these guns are fake. Mr. Speaker, the weapons that were found are real weapons that are capable. Mr. Speaker, if the weapons are fake, the Prime Minister, then we will test them. I want to assure the member so that he will avoid such a test that the weapons discovered are capable of discharging round that would be fatal if the members real issue is that they were not reflected it is valid and i will inquire but when the member mr speaker has a responsible member of parliament a former minister of national security who knows the potential devastation of these homemade weapons i don't want your member to diminish the fight of- you see my take on this thing i you know you might take on this thing i you know them should have present the gun them where bunting says fake and if it's not fake them should have responded what me say them should have present the gun the police them should have present the gun them where bunting say it's fake and if it's not fake gun them should find bunting or arrest bunting because him have a group of people will take him inside and it's another division in the country again for discredit where the police them do now. So I don't know if it can stop the song by saying what well, you say and then now the, the, the quickness of the Prime Minister reiterate that now and then say. But if it is really fake gun, just like all the numbers to the murder in our name, there is fake. We in a serious problem in Jamaica. Because Bontina insinuates say is the police them put the amount of gun them there for make it look like them find a whole heap of gun. And also now wrap up gun in a whatever paper. What kind of ma- is we are going? If that are going up at the top, at the top that are going in a region. And now me I just sit down around and I say, hey, you know the gun a fake gun. And it just passed, so you know. And Mr. Bunting, the former national security minister of Jamaica, come on national TV and say the gun, some of the gun them with them find in a Mount CLM is play play gun. And the Prime Minister say, if you think it's fake, fake gun, play play gun, make me make the police them pile by you. I'll shut fire off what I'll make you see if it's play play. <laughs> no! I yet talk about me. Me, 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 I saw that way. Me, I saw that way, Bridget. Me, me, I try, me, I try, don't cry. I cry, me, me I try, not cry, you know. Because the little country I'm born, you know, and me say, oh, me live most of my life, you know. Me say, politician, I, I, I carry the thing away. You know, me can't understand how after them see where I go on, so now they might turn the thing in this political jang jassle, jang jassle, jang jassle. Because the other brethren, you know, when I left him out of the whole pickle and the mickle, you know, because him, him no easy at all, you know. But you see, when the Prime Minister talk about Mount CLM and the people them can now sleep with them wind and door open, once again, I am going to tell the Prime Minister, and I hope somebody is listening can tell him, say, Muta say, there is a Jamaican saying, we say, cock mouth, kill cock. I wonder if you understand that terminology. Cock mouth, kill cock. You understand? So, next year, them time, yeah, just like how when it never, when, when him never was in power, and him said certain things, next year, them time, yeah, Prime Minister, please stop gay, stop talk. Because you tell the people them say, 
Mount Salem choose itself with the 54 murders. And now we are here totally different something. We don't want to go around the place and I tell these people like say you create a utopia in Mount Salem. And it is going to be what we have all expected a, a community to, to be. This is like a model community in Jamaica. And then we will move on to a next community and make it like Mount Salem. So we're going to keep reflecting on what the work that has been done in Mount Salem as a model. The only model community where I can revert to in a Jamaica that I can say, yes, this happened was Grand Spain. Grand Spain. Because we used to live in the area when the old refurbishing and then build up the community, this and the that. And we don't hear nothing up there. It's not that the gun them not up there, you know, but obviously the man them find something else to do right now. You understand? And we used to say the, politi the politician them kind of ease off because the Minister of Justice was the was the, was the was the the man up there? What's name? Chuck. Delroy Chuck was the man who was responsible for that area there. And we see the community, to me, to me personally, the community there is like a community there. Where they never did really have a have no special zone for make the thing ease off. But the thing get away you now in a Jamaica where they have to do some extra special and extraordinary things. So we just have to tell the people them. Say, we, 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 we born and grow here, so, and we understand the dilemmas and the thing, them, the psychology and the thing, them. But politicians, anytime when I look on politicians, look upon them with one eye. And when the eye open, put on a dark as. Find the dark, find the glass, like a you know, midnight tint, where them put on car glass, put on a midnight tint by the dark as. When you look on the politician, I listen to the politician because trust me, man. Trust me. How is it that the same people, them, we are run up and down with the PNP and the JLP two years, three years ago? Are the same people, them, are run up and down with the PNP and the JLP? And them conditions no better. Then the people, them, can't see that. You there, a jump on the side of the coast, a bust, you go to a stadium. Say you got this and St. Mary and Portland and them I have bus, you know, and you know get chicken, well, Kentucky fried chicken and whole day on the day so and I drink water and I wave flag and I green this and I orange this and re 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 and the next year when you come back come to the same thing. And the next year when you come back come to the same thing. And you know still in the same condition. That not telling you no nothing. That not telling you no nothing, Rasta. Only in the same condition. Election after election after election, I don't see him on go there, on a box on one another, kill one another, curse one another, dance, sing, shout for the politician, and on the condition is the same. It's the same way on the steer. No difference not in the community. As a matter of fact, every year it gets worse. Look on the road them in a certain community. Look on the road them in a certain community. It gets worse. I do understand, no, no. I do understand the people, them Rasta. I do understand all people. There's none that is so blind that is he that I cannot see. Believe you, be click it. Yes, the indiscipline of Jamaica is wide. Wide, wide, wide. And really and truly. Remember this? So many JLP leadership have been behaving disgracefully. Some would say, like John Cross, gleefully <laughs> reacting to a real loss of life as an opportunity to gain political mileage. And then, you know, comrades, I've been traveling for a couple weeks, and I wait until my back is turned, until I'm out of the country to launch their most recent attacks. But I always know that these cowards wait until the back turn to attack you. So many... That was the divine one when he was in power. Where him relate to the, the GLP people, them who did uh, um, criticize him as John Crow. And he must say, really and truly, them wait till him back turn before them start to criticize. All right, so make we hear, make we hear it again. So many GLP leadership have been behaving 
this girl is funny. Some would say, like John Cross, gleefully reacting to a real loss of life as an opportunity to gain political mileage. Make I ask the people them now, after him said that, couldn't it be said about him doing the same thing now to these people and then them start to react? You don't believe to them react? Listen to this. And the PNP quarrel and them cuss and them quarrel and them say, what you doing about crime? When we come with the special zones, them say they don't like it. And then when we pass the law, them say, how come you won't call the place a special zone? And when we call the special zone, them say it's the wrong place we call. And I think maybe the right place we might have to call for a special zone is up at PNP headquarters. <laughs> no! No! Jamaican people! Jamaican people! Oh, who not talk about me? Who not talk about me around you? Who the people there? No, Jamaican people. When the Minister of National Security can come from public television and say that maybe them should have used the, 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 the people's national party headquarters as a special zone of operation. And when Bunty needed a power, he called them drunk row and said they will take them back turn. Before them are criticized, they, 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 them is greed, gloating over the amount of Jamaican people were dead. No, no better Erin, no better Barrel. As some here, my mother said. My mother said, no better Erin, no better Barrel. How the hell can we now look upon these people and expect these people to take way out of the quagmire with them put we in her? Kind of, it's not a love affair with you and your wife where a man hurt him wife or a wife hurt the husband and the person who you look for to heal the wound is the same person who hurt you. That is really a marriage thing. The same person who hurt you is the same person you look for to heal the pain. These people is running the national business, the interests of the people. And this is what one man have to say about the next and then they don't come right I've been traveling for a couple weeks and I wait until my back is turned until I'm out of the country to launch their most recent attacks but I always know that these cowards wait until your back turn to attack you what? we were looking so the JLP leadership have been behaving disgracefully some would say, like John Cross, gleefully reacting to a real loss of life as an opportunity to gain political mileage. Eh? And eh? the PNP quarrel and them cuss and them quarrel and them say, what you doing about crime? When we come with the special zones, them say they don't like it. And then when we pass the law, them say, how come you won't call the place a special zone? And when we call the special zone, them say it's the wrong place we call. And I think maybe the right place we might have to call for a special zone is up at PNP headquarters. No, boss, no sir. No sir, we that serious problem. And you see a man with the same uncle, I hope you are mad, I uncle call you to you know. I tell them I put how much to in my pocket. No. And them people are run with life. Mm -hmm. Eh? And them people are not going to vote for every time and feel on the life of a different pastor. Oh gosh, man, believe you me. Last is art. This is last is art. After 15 months, I am convinced that. The best efforts of the security forces by itself will not solve the crime problem in Jamaica. But it is going to take divine intervention, touching the hearts of a wide cross section of the society. 
Yes, Papa. Okay. Wow. All right. You know for them. No, we're not done with them. We're not done with it. You think we're done with it? We're not done with it because this is the most. This is the most calm and co and collective reasoning we hear. In the period of since the zone, not only fifty four murders. Eight were in other of these were in other areas of St. James. Clarendon, I believe, had had six. Westmoreland had five and the metro area. Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Catherine had 18. There is a dilemma about having this massive resource of an already under-resourced JCF and JDF in this small area where if there are violence producers, they have been, they are elsewhere, certainly have not been apprehended. And with rampant criminality, with under-resourced police in these other areas of the country. After only 10 days, the residents of Mount Salem are now able to express a level of relief as they now feel free to venture throughout the community without fear to sleep with their windows and doors open. All right. Well, I saw it go. I saw it go. Believe you me, I saw it go. I don't know, but listening to them things there, eh? it's a big joke. It's a big joke. And Jamaican people, we don't really have to look for them poor political party that will solve no problem. Communities, on top of communities, must be vigilant in shaping them own destiny. And I know people don't like hear me say it. People really don't like hear me say this, but I'm going to say it again because some people might have said, boy, intelligent youth like Mota, Bridget like Mota. Why I keep saying that? I'm not going to say it again. A Bridget named Dudus run a company community named Tivoli Garden and Tivoli Garden was run where no guy can rape no woman in the community pick me up with death to them bed 8 o'clock school pick me up school fee for go to school and books you can't go down they go park certain place and when it's a no parking or vending when it's a no vending Oh, this man who is supposed to be a big time criminal could I get the people them in an orderly fashion? Orderly. Oh, how that possible? And these people with them big gun, them uniform and the law on their side cannot stem the thing. Punting come, the thing get worse and him complain say the other one them I use it as political strategy. Now him come I use it against them as political strategy and them I use it now as we can say as political strategy. So it's all about politics and nothing for the people them. And every time you hear them talk, them talk say them is in the interest of the people. But when you look past where I go on you see the the, 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 the bank, they might make billions of dollars profit. I want to say the private sector in general I make billions of dollars profit. You see, tourism is on the increase. That means the money I make from tourism. You see, the aid, where they might get. The problem with aid, you know, the problem with aid is that aid is where poor people from rich country get to rich people in poor country. Poor people from rich country get to rich people from poor country. Because with all the aids them where them I get from Europe and from all these banking systems, the people them life is in a drag. We reach a stage now where we are complaining over sugar. It's just simple. The people them I say, you can't sell 
three pound and four pound bag of sugar. Cause some people go. Remember when me and you can go buy a slice of bread in a half a bread in a in a in a Chinaman shop. Yes, and you can buy any, any if you want sugar, them weigh the sugar. All them I say is that look here, put them in a smaller package that poor people can afford it. It become a national issue. We call national issue in you know that. It's just simple. Just listen to the people them. Them can't afford three pound bag. Cause some people like me and me and, me and young young can't go in a place. I mean no eat sugar. So I mean I go in a shop to buy no sugar. So it need to fit the people. Because no care what you say, they go bust the big bag them and sell it not on plastic bag. And then now go stop because even if it's not hygienic. To sell it that way. Poor people no business about hygiene, certain way. Well, if a poor people no business about hygiene. Because you can't see how them sell the food, them and thing, and it, it, it not have no discipline about selling the food. So, them why you do it in a way where them can afford it. So, all the big companies them have to do is look on the market and say, we can, we can sell all half pound of sugar too. Yes. You can't sell all half pound of sugar, you know. And then left the three pound back to, to young, young and Brian and all them people there where can afford these things. But it become a national issue, a national event and all them something there. So I don't know. I don't know how the people them are going to really suck it up. Because it's really that I go on. So we're going to play this soon yeah, for the politician them. We have a very important interview. As you know, I might not know, tomorrow is Claude Mackey Day at the Claude Mackey High School. The retro skanking with Digital Chris will be live from the school. Join Keshima Francis and Digital Chris live tomorrow. On Saturday, the entire team will point the will paint the Claude Mackey High School. So IRFM will be all out in the areas. People them in that area, make sure they're on the turnout. You need one heap of hands to paint. So on the line here we have Jean Laurie Chin. Who has good written? afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm good, Muta. And so it's such a pleasure to be here to help to celebrate Claude McKay's birthday tomorrow. I was told that you have um, written on, um, on Claude McKay in terms of his female um, perceptions of women. Yes, I mean, that is what made me such a devotee of Claude McKay. In the 80s, I decided to do my master's thesis yeah. on his fiction and on the evolution of the black female character mm. in the fiction of Claude McKay. And reading and reading so deeply into his work, you realize the genius of this man and his heart, he was thinking way ahead. You know, he had a deep love for his mother and for other women in his family mm. and he was always very sympathetic to the cause of women okay so in, in terms of is presenting female in, in his novels what you what you found out about him as it relates to female okay so what i found out about him was that even there's a character in one of his short stories who is not particularly good looking and she gets this boyfriend and the boyfriend starts to take advantage of her and he describes how she decides to leave him but before she leaves him because this was set in new york and before she leaves him she remembered that she had bought him a very expensive winter coat and she took back her winter coat and put it on and she put her hands in the pocket and she said you know she felt he said she felt this deep warmth and it was as if she bought this with her own money and now she was enjoying it and she was standing up for herself and he also had great sympathy you know one of his very famous poems is a harlem dancer and uh he could see beyond this woman just dancing because he said the wine flushed bold eyed boys and even the girls devoured her shape with eager passionate gaze but looking at her falsely smiling face i knew herself was not in that strange place mm -hmm. so he was very sensitive to so, this yeah. man who had as you would say 
fallen by the wayside yeah. as well. So what do you think caused that? What, what do you think in our informative ears alone for be so sensitive towards the female? Well, you know, he described his family. He was born in Clarendon. Yeah. And he described his family as a peasant family. But they were a very close family. And, you know, his parents were married. His this father was a deacon in the Baptist ways. Church. Exactly. Very dedicated. And his father was very, very strict. But he said his mother was a more gentle, understanding person. And then when he was about, I think he was about seven, his brother, Eusio, was a very well-respected teacher and principal of a school in Montpelier in St. James. Yeah. And he remembers when he went there, Eusio's uh, wife, his sister-in-law, mm -hmm. that she also was very loving and caring of him. So, and, and he also fell in love when he was about 12 with one of his classmates and described this girl as very radiant and beautiful started to write poetry to her until his father found out and he got a good whooping because he said he was too young. So he always had an eye for the ladies as well, you know? So this poem uh, that he used to write at 12, <laughs> is there any part of those poems available that uh, you can find them? No, you know, we don't, he only describes it as a love poem okay. in his book, My Green Hills of Jamaica, that he wrote a love poem. Mm. But he, he, um, he actually says, you know, he wished he had kept it, but he didn't have it. And then now, um, also, uh, <clears throat> he, he said, all of us preferred my mother. I must mention this to you. And, um, he said to his sister, she went away to study and came back very fashionable mm. and very independent. Yeah. So he had these women who were loving, independent, fashionable around him. And remember, this was very early in the early 20th century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it just shows you that the Jamaican woman was taking her place. Yeah. At that time. Now, he, you know, had entered the police force as well. Mm -hmm. And he recounted in my Green Hills of Jamaica that a uh, uh, visiting American, white American man seems to have got drunk and pushed over the basket of a market woman at Papine. And a sergeant came to speak to him. And this man retorted in a most disrespectful way, but that the sergeant stood up for the lady, you know? So although this was supposed to be a, you know, this white visitor, and this was a humble market lady, they all stood up for the lady and actually took the man to court on her behalf. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those little stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. a lot of people hear about the Harlem Renaissance. Um, yes. I know when I was going to school, we hear about the Harlem Renaissance, and I know that Claude McKay was part of that Harlem Renaissance. You can just explain to the listeners what is really the Harlem Renaissance. Well, in Harlem, there was this group of black intellectuals who, you know, Malcolm X was one of them, actually. Mm. And um, they... Well, Malcolm X came after, yeah. but they were very focused on their self-determination. Mm -hmm. And Claude McKay was a part of that. Yeah. Now, unfortunately for Claude McKay, uh, or I should say, this is a phase of his life. He joined the Communist Party, and then uh, he was well, well respected for his writing. He had met this publisher called Max Eastman, mm. and was well respected for his writing. They were all tending to communism. And they arranged for him to go to Russia. And when he went to Russia, he actually said, you know, that he was celebrated and he didn't feel his color there. Mm. They were so respectful of his poetry. So I think they, I would say that the Harlem Renaissance made black people feel that they could uh, achieve a higher status yeah. in life. 
You know what my great regret was, though? At the end of his book, his autobiography, A Long Way From Home, mm-hmm. he was not very complimentary to our Marcus Garvey, right? Yeah. Although he did admit that he said that Marcus Garvey was full of antiquated social ideas, but then he admitted, yet within a decade, he aroused the social consciousness of the Negro masses more than any leader yeah, ever yeah. did. Well, you know that in those times, uh, Marcus Garvey was really adamant against communism. And a lot of the, That's black, right. the so-called black movement was centered around Marxism. And Marcus Garvey was one of the only black nationalists who was saying that communism yeah. is not part of the, the African, the Pan-Africanist movement. And we know that Kwame Nkrumah, you know, all of these yes. great um, African leaders were centered around Marxism, even in Jamaica. In all the time uh-huh. he used to go to school, a lot of the Trevor Monroe's and all these people were centered around Marx. Communism, Marx. Marxism, yes. Yeah. And, and him, him, was never, him was not a different person, as you say, in Russia. And I think there was a, a, a musician by the name of Dan Shirley. I don't know if you know uh-huh. Dan Shirley. He, he was a Jamaican who actually ended up in Russia. Russia, yes. also, and I think Paul Robinson. Paul Robinson, Paul Robinson yes. Yeah. Paul Robinson, they yes, went through the same thing. Of, of, the, of the Harlem Renaissance. And Marcus Garvey, as we know, did most of his work in, in, um, in, in, uh, in, in, in Harlem. But why is it that he never really come back to Jamaica, though? Um, pa, um, not pa, you know, pa, um, you know God, and let me tell you, when you read his poetry, when he thinks back to... Uh, the, the things that he remembered. Remember the one about the poinsettia mm. in warm December? Yes. His work is so full of nostalgia. But it was that, he, I think he just got caught up in the system there. Mm. Um, he did study, you know, at Tuskegee University for a while. Yes. Uh, but then he said he just couldn't take the racism there. Yes. And then he moved to Kansas State College. And then, you know, he was... When he went to London, you know, Frank Harris, another publisher and writer, introduced him to George Bernard Shaw. Yes. Because, so he, he was in the highest of literary circles. Mm. And at that point, interestingly, he was an unbeliever. But he said that the conversation with George Bernard Shaw yes. was about cathedrals. And he said ever since he had a con conversation he never saw cathedrals in a different way so i think what happened then he he went to morocco he lived in france for a well, while well, I, I think he's he, been living in morocco for a long little while don't it yes he set up house in morocco, morocco he had a girlfriend an african-american girlfriend who i think he loved very much but he had actually married his childhood sweetheart yes. left her in new york i think she she was from the Lewards family, L E W A R S, mm. and so when this other lady now wanted to marry him, he told her that you know he couldn't. He was still married, and she got very upset and said, "Okay, she was gonna go back to somebody else." Yeah. So he was in Morocco for a while, and you know he fell in love with Barcelona. He even wrote a poem well, that's in, that's about in Spain. yes. Yeah. So I mean, is is it, there's something about the whole Claude Marquet story that is very unknown. I don't know. Yes. What, 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 the unknown, because for him to live in Morocco, it's kind of strange for a Jamaican at the time to end up in a Morocco. Can you imagine? He, he, and he was, well, wherever he went, you know, he said even in France, there was a group of African Americans, and he was, they, they were in Marseille, in mm. France, mm. and, um, he loved to explore. He loved to have these philosophical discussions. You know, when he was quite young, he was introduced to this Mr. Jekyll in Jamaica, who had an expansive library. And he said he read all the great philosophers. Yes. So I think he felt that, you know, he was not just a Jamaican, but he was a global, global individual. Person, yeah. What I call now, globalized person. He, Yes, very much so. He could relate to anybody, but yes. he was very conscious, though, you know, yes. of his 
negritude. He was very conscious of where he came from, and he never let it go because, you know, he ended up being converted to the Catholic faith. Yeah. But he actually said to his friend, Max Eastman, who was a Marxist, right? He said to him, I have been doing a lot of reading and research, especially on Catholic work among Negroes, because if and when I take this step, I want to be intellectually honest about it. Yeah. And five months later, he was baptized in, in, the, in the Catholic, Catholic Church. Church. Yeah. But he told Eastman, I am not less the fighter for doing so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, um, I, but he was always wanting to go home. And I think the novel, my favorite Claude McKay novel, is called Banana Bottom. Yes. And it's about a woman who also sought philosophy, like Claude McKay, went away and got a very fine education and comes back to Jamaica. And her church people actually try to marry her off to a light-skinned person, mm -hmm. and she rejected him. And then there was this very strong, intelligent farmer in the village called Juban. Yes. And that is who she fell in love with. And at the very end of the novel, she and Juban become, are married, and it has a very wonderful ending. Uh, her name was Beta Plant. So again, it was as if she was now back to where she was planted in her country. Right. And I think if people read that novel, Banana Bottom, yes. they'll see that although Claude McKay did not physically return to Jamaica, yeah. in this character, in this protagonist, it was he did mind. return in spirit. Yes. 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 Well, so, so give thanks, Miss Laura Chin. Um, Really appreciate you for spending the time with me a little. And you know that um, IRFM is celebrating the life and works of this great man. Um, tomorrow is, is designated as Claude McKay Day. And I don't know if... Where, where are you calling? Where we call you from? I'm calling from Kingston. So you're going to be, you're going to be during the weekend, you're going to be in Clarendon? I won't be in Clarendon, but I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to try to see if I can even pass through even for an hour because it sounds very exciting. Yes, yes. I heard you promoting it and I said, you know, yes. it's one thing to talk, yes. but it's another thing to do. All right, okay. Well, thank you I very think much. It's, it's a great way to honor him. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mukan. Keep on keeping on and blessings to you and your listeners. All right, give thanks. Yes, that's what Jean Laura Chin. Mm -hmm who wrote, and Claude McKay, and how he presented females in his novels. And as I said before, um, tomorrow is designated Claude McKay Day. Yes, Claude McKay Day. And the, the painting up of the Claude McKay High School um, will take place. And also, two programs will be broadcast live from there. The Retro Skanking with Digital Quiz on Friday, it's Friday, come on, right? And and Keshima Francis. No, Keshima Francis and Digital Quiz is live tomorrow. Which is um tomorrow is a Friday. Yeah, Friday. And you know, Sunday, um the 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 um the running African. Mm -hmm. The running African will be there from six o'clock. So we're talking about like three day, you know. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So, people, clarinet and you have something to look forward to. Click it. Yes, I tell you, the bridge, I deemed that. Deemed it's a motor, motor foot. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, I tell you. I'm going to put my foot in a glass case, you know. <laughs> I'm going to take some picture, I'm going to put that it up. Before the man tell me, say, I want a picture of my foot, you know, and put this foot. You see the foot when I put by the CD? Where am I getting a foot there from? I saw my foot still. My input is that make people believe, say, on my foot, on my picture. It's a picture of my foot I'm taking up. Hey, d -Meds. if you didn't want a picture of foot, you know, just call me Reggie and say, moot a foot and then take a picture of my foot, Rasta. You can put that, that foot there for make people believe, say, on my foot, that. My foot not stay, sir, man. My foot not stay, sir. Anyway, I don't say no mean nothing still.
<laughs> I believe you ask but I tell you, say, how you deal with what's going And that would I tell you, you know, believe you, that would I tell you. So don't come to me about the picture for my foot. But yes, a nice little tune still. Nice little tune. Okay. We we'll continue the journey. As you say, we're gonna take some phone call. We're we'll gonna take some phone call. So before before me and the call them I come, we could go and play some music here. Yes, yeah, Muta. Yeah, me and yeah, look there because when we hear this morning, me tell the truth, why me, me kind of grieve to all the behavior of the youth. Them, you see me I say? Where yeah, you hear this yes, morning? So, yeah. The blessing is that I'm going to say, as I'm going to give, I'm going to uh, to know wisdom and to know the madness, you know, me I say, it, it's funny, you know, because I'm going to perceive this as always being a vexation of spirit. You see me, I say? No, where you say no. you're this morning? Hold on, where you say you're here this morning? Yeah. Well, well, this morning, when I'm on here, the ayah speak about the, 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 the kind of song them, where do you, them... This morning? I don't the type this morning, of song Richard, them, just, the type of I, I song them... The program start yeah, the, the where do you, them play, the kind of song them where me are here personally, right? Yeah. Uh, like, like you mentioned, you was listening... To a whole heap of them in the hotel room, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say, Bridgin, honestly, I say, I'm gonna say, saying, I'm gonna say, as I'm gonna give, as I'm gonna give, art to wisdom, you know, see it, and to know the madness is folly, because I'm gonna perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. You see me, I say, no, I'm gonna, I look back in the, the things of the Marcus Garvey, you know, see it. And as the man mentioned about liberty all right, it's been said, right? Liberty all must be used to give people power, right? Of every kind. Power in education, science, industry, right? And higher government, so I say, the kind of power will stand out significantly so that as a race and nation can see and if they not see then they will feel no i'm gonna send on when i'm on check the, the, the misbehavior i think i'm going to go on the earth you see me i say amongst the black people knowing to the fact that we are human beings seeing and when i see where we're coming from and we are reached today and i have said my black brother and sister should I have more love within themselves. You see me I say? No. I'm on your lot of cultures talking. Seeing over I I FM and many of I and I people them, which I wanna say, it grieves me for know so the people them know so much about them history and know the the, 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 the future behind the history, right? And at the same time the liberty of them is of how them live today. No, as me I say, give I man, give I mad liberty. Right. Because I and I can sing and praise you in the most way yeah. and bring them a younger generation them to themselves. Because we just say them last in the I and I can sing. But the, sing, the songs are there, them not follow where you sing. No, well, you see, all right. Them hear it, you know, them not follow it. You know, you hear the, the man that talks to them, love by man, but they must sing different things, they must sing what they want to sing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so no they must sing. Them, no, say we, we, we can't sing and make them come follow. Them now follow that. Yeah, but the at the same time, still at the same time, I tell you about, you know, because mm. you're in at the hotel and you hear some sound and mm. with them, you can perceive what they saw. You see, mm. it can't educate the younger generation them to come and the younger one them, some that even born yet. Mm. You see, I say, yeah. I'm to know personally, say, yo, when we get these messages, you know, we, 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 we see it from them. I, I, I agree. So you, 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 you speak of it because you don't want that in a society. Mm. So I'm going to say, saying no at the time when I and I have to help because I, I am the leader, you know, we are the leader for the younger doing generation. Help you know. by doing what? Help by doing what? Eh? Where is it? Yeah. Help by doing what? By continual spread okay. the, 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 the culture, yeah. the, the, the lyrical culture. Well, and that we are seeing, do. And that we are do. That's why we have that program here and the other program. That's why we do the program. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to love that, yeah. Bridget. That's why I'm going to call uh, it. I'm going to move the it up, the up, up, up to the, the catch part thing. Yeah, and Alfonso, do the still here, sir. Yeah, respect me, brother. Yes. Step in, Razor. 
art of war with their video. We are going through the pieces and I reflect on the things them that confront, confront us in these days. Because we don't talk about the national things, we don't talk about the international things up to now, you know. Because you have some things that go on out there internationally where, if you don't mind sharp to it, you talk about hurricane or wipe a island. Man look like him well want to wipe away the whole continent. You understand? Believe you me. Because you see all this hurricane will come where you people are about to act of God. You better watch them and blame God for all the madness they were creating in the little island. You know. A man will create them, them, them thing there, you know. Man creating disturbance in the atmosphere with his chemical germs and them chemical warfare. And then them blame it on God. These Christian people, which God would have come now for come see people and build up them life and I think I wipe out them whole island. And go wipe out some of people and kill some of people. Which God would do that? For what purpose would that serve the omnipotent, omnipresent, all loving, all kind, benevolent God to wipe out people in that manner? Poor people especially. Because rich people now feel it. Rich people sit down in their house when hurricane has come and drink champagne until the breeze is gone. Poor people sit down by the river bank, gully bank, all the bank where they can't find except the bank where have the money in you know? And wipe where the people them. And then you have some people around the place that talk about God know what him doing. Know what we doing what? What God have to do with it? God will have nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. It's man. It's either man vex the earth, the, 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 the planet. Because that is where I do. Him do all sorts of things for upset nature. And nature just belch and farm it and weave upon him. You know see? So God God have nothing to do with it. People want to tell you about, yes, God knows where I'm doing his act of God and all these things. Look what is going on in the earth today. Look what man is doing to the planet. And tell me if there's not consequences for his actions. There are consequences for man's action on the planet. And they have to stand that consequence. The only problem with the consequences is that it's pure poor people are mostly poor people that feel it. Just like how it's poor people killing poor people. It's not rich people killing rich people in the garrisons or in those poor communities. It's poor people with zinc fence. We have fight for zinc fence place. They have no house for themselves and all these things. But a gun will make them feel powerful. Serious, serious thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mota. Yeah, bless it. How are you doing, sir? I'm there, man. Uh, Ah, man, nah, we don't have the heat, you know. Look here now, we have a problem out west, Negril, you see? Mm. We have a set of man down here where call itself Juta, Negril chapter, sir. Mm. Now, we have a contract with Sander since mm. Sip. We sign off and we sign it annually. Somewhere along the line, I don't know where, it gets incorporated with island roads. And them farm a fictitious, but we can't say fictitious, so a company within our company. Oh, yeah? Called Juta Management Company. Mm. Now, them take away the whole of the work from the man, the man, okay. Have it for themselves, do what they feel to do with it. Now, Sanders, they tell the man, them said them to buy new buses to carry them people because they don't want to know all of us for them work. Mm. Now, the man, them go to who can't find the money after them? Who don't have to borrow it? Borrow. They have to mm. pick up money off of them hoes. Mm. Stop all them picnics from school. Yeah. Now, the man them stop get work. Because them take a next man now put in it where Nah, it should work properly. Man, I lost the living of them go to the to get a one company. work. Wait, where's the farmer company within Juta? What do you mean? We don't know where the company come from, Samota. So who, who, is the, who is the head of that company? The new company? Who is the head of it? Yeah. Well, that is the thing. Um, nobody really know who own the company. I wa they have shareholders night where I don't really care if you call them name right yeah, now. Yeah, still, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No call them you name. Understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah, because legal for um mm. point I but not the long and the shot I hit Mr. Yeah. Motor. Bank the pan the man them don't have now. Yeah. Terrible. Them start to see and we make off a fifteen at the bus them. 
Yes, man. I mean, it's a picnic. I go back to university. All right. So let me ask you a question. One of the union, the Juta people in the union. <laughs> yeah, you see. Mota, I the same thing I ask. You see? Okay. But the thing is, them say we don't have no contract again. So you, you're, not a, you're not a Juta man? Yes, man. I'm a Juta man, man. A problem me here now why me a car because guess what no. Me can't get no answers from nobody. And me just a put it out there to see if Somebody Mr. Bush will know what the man then to do with we down here. Alright, maybe should I go to the minister uh, Minister of Labour and, and say <laughs> Yeah laugh now let me say that now I'm work neither for you. Yeah. No, you see, the, the whole thing about it. And yeah, like, hold on, you want to hold till after the, the cash part thing? Or you well, can't hold, or call back? Well, Alright, well, this one. Right. You understand? Alright. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Step in. Bless him. Mota. Yes, sir. You know, it's, uh, we call upon a thing because the government and the police, them, the police them is not for the people. Though. The police yes, them is not for the people. Yes, we're going to punish and see a killing go on. Almost nice station. Wait, hold on, hold on. Say that again. They say yesterday, I'm there punish one and say a killing go on almost in the station. Yeah. A man got kill a man. Right beside be the station. Police. Yeah. A yeah. be a police station with long gun. A four shot bus, a beer run up and down. A police station run up and down. I look cover. <laughs> yeah. You can't believe that. So, so about, you ever believe you're talking about people dead? Five people get shot, one dead and four dead. Oh, and yeah, we hear about it. As I said, near the police station, it happened. In the station, motor and no, 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 man, not me say in the station, man. Yeah, yes, in the bus park, but the motor police from no, the station. No, hold on, hold on, the man. Don't exaggerate the thing, man. Where them get shot? In the car park, in the police station. In the bus park, the man get shot. The why you say in the police station? I the station, motor. Because the station in the town. Anybody can call and say, oh, the station, oh, everywhere, cover up with beer police from earlier and before the incident. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, be a police and they turn a time and tax the man, bus man, mm. eagle all these people. A man come in at the town, come shoot man and run out of the town and they was shot. Police and bus after the man and hold the man. So the police them they see the man who get who shoot fire the shot? I mean if police them see the man but they run gun for shot bus motor. The police them run? The police them run shot everybody run gun along M16 all these things. Uh, I, so, I, I laugh, you know, I, say, I, laugh, I don't want to cry while I laugh. Me, so me I say when the police them in a station and I get these days to come on the road to fight crime and gun man. Mm. If, if, if they, if, if it's so far, who still was sending them out, tell them, say, when they hear shot, but they have run and take cover our, me don't know. Nobody not tell them that, man. So, oh, so all them tell them left out of the station to come out to catch gun man and things, and then here. And then he shot about and see man about shot. And, and I run come man. out. And I run there, run gone inside the world, gone man. So which part you did there when that happened? In our bus, my motor. Okay. I want to look at you, get shot, I want to call you out. Wow. Look at all the man shot down the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, oh, oh, how Spanish town gets so hot again? This is where I go on along there. Motor, I don't really know what I go on about. You know what I say? I saw violence go on, but I say motor police. When me see Aaron, I couldn't believe say a man could have come kill a man there, so Aaron gone out there. Oh, I like, I like them move, the, the, the Zocot thing, I move gone at Spanish Town seeking late. <laughs> the motor police, what you say? Motor, they say motor police, remember they recruit some new police, you know, mm. and they tell them to hold them on the road. Mm. If you walk, you walk in a Spanish Town, you see about six or five police. And when the police hear the shot, they run. And when the police hear the shot, they run. I when they hear shot, but I run, they run gun. He's the inside of them run down oh, well, oh, oh, the and them a plan. Them in a mark with with much AK cock cock out and how much magazine cock out and yeah. I mean, I, I come here because the taxi man, the man, he got them gold pan with the intimidator. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what go on this origin. So the so the so the gold man get where? Want to the gold man right now? If that if. If if a man fit dead and in a ball pin there, that the man there come to go to that the man there, he go feel the same way about that. Mm. Yeah, well, anyway, the man, they know, I just saw them now, wait till night again. Bright day, <laughs> middle day, I mean, you see about 1.30 that happened to. A 1.30, man, I tell you, after 1.00, them turn them out. Yeah, yeah. And, and at night, I tell about no middle day in the motor. Mm. Hey, I, I listen to the day after the motor, it 
a day, a day before, you know, two police not care, you know, a drive, a drive, a drive, go and come on the road, you know. And a man, a come out all in, you know, and see them now, and pop off in gun, you know, and run in a motor. And you know, say, the police are call the man, instead of the run down the man, and go shot at five, man. You see, he say, a man, I, I, I go to the police, and pop off in gun, and police are call him, like I'm picking the hour, before uh, you run down uh, the man, and go shot at five. Where are you, where are you, where are you, where Tell me exactly what you say. Some man have fire shot. Right? Two police not care. Yeah, yeah, some man have fire shot and some police see the man them have fire shot. I wait till the man them don't fire shot and then I call them. No, the man no fire shot. The man have walk with the gun. And the police get in the car and the man see the man, the police them, and pop off in gun and, 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 and run. And the police are call the man like say I'm picking him a call. <laughs> what kind of police? Everything I go wrong, everything I go right. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Him get cut off. Him get cut off. No, that is so funny. That is so funny. Believe you me. Okay. Yes. Yes, Uncle Mota. How are you You live in Spanish town? No, man. I call for a name, Mary Maka. Okay. How are you going? Yeah. Father Mary Maka, you live in yeah. yeah. Florida? New York. Oh, yeah, New, New York. York. Okay. Yeah. What say? But then it's a great mind thing, like, you know? Food sells the Last time different. did we call it, but... Huh? Great mind thing, like, but fools seldom differ. Yeah, true, true. Mm. So, me did we call it last night, but me fall asleep. But me check in the program for the basic thing, and... Mm. When me I think through the weeks, I me I go call you about the same thing you talk about. Okay. So, um... As a youth I grew up, may I give you a quick story. As a youth I grew up, I used to go to a church named United Church. Then at 12 year old, I go live with one of my teacher cousin named Dalton Watson. But he passed away now, so he sold rest in peace. So I start with Pentecostal Church. So one day they have altar call. And I said, I'm going to altar, go get some prayer. So I did altar and them did it and them rock my head and I rock my head and I said, speak it out, young man. Speak it out. But me I look for new man and me I say, where am I say, speak out? So I look at you now, me just roll my tongue in my head and say, oh, shalamala. You know, just give them something. Mm. At the end of the day, me here say, me fill. Fill with what? Then come over for dinner and say, if me ready for baptize. When me I go baptize with them, I just a look at you up there. Because you say, you say shalamala. You know? Because you say shalamala. Yeah. You say shalamala. You should say alakata. <laughs> Yeah, so when I try to get to, these church people are trying to corrupt people, brother, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, like I get the stigma in their head, say, this God account seal them and this. No, no, go so, brother. Because even the other day, I look for that thing, and I see Louis Farrakhan say, America is on God number one list to destroy. The yeah. funny amount of innocent people in America, why God would want to destroy America? Well, them not say, him did destroy the whole world one time and let eight people in our ark. All the pregnant women, them, ah, and the boy. young baby, them, and the mothers and the grannies, where did I live? God just bring a flood and wipe out the whole of them. And just some fear, TLT. So he must say, he must yeah, say, him, him, him repent of, to make man. In other words, him did sorry, say make man. This is a omnipresent, omniscient, all-powerful God, you know. Say I'm sorry, say I'm make man. Tell you know, them the omnipresent thing that I deal with. It's complicated, brethren. It's a complicated thought, thinking. Yeah, man, very complicated. Thinking, man, thinking. All right. Um, yeah, like me now, me is a vegan. So like to the mega work, all me have is some peanut butter and some dates and drink a bottle of water. Mm. And because so, so like the way how me feed my body, my body flush itself. Mm. So you see, when you come on to the earth now and the atmosphere, as as you said last night, the earth is motherland. Like, you, you don't say it's the motherland. Mother earth. Same way how we flush our, yeah, the earth. Same way how we flush with system. Because, all right, as the moon, the new moon and the full moon, I don't remember which one. Like, your body link with it. You can't, when you take a worm out, you can't yeah. take it full moon or yeah. new moon. Yeah. Kind of moon. It's like when you have you plants or anything like that. Moonshine. You know, for yeah. certain food so during me, the moonshine. What I try to get to now 
you see all the chemical them were in our earth now mm. and the, the um the toxin in our ear. You know, the earth has flush itself, so people are going to talk about um mm. God I, I, I do this and God now nah, do nothing. Yes. The earth wants clean, so and just like God and clean Some of it is, is created by man deliberately to some of them catastrophe they was deliberately yes. created by some little guys were still in a certain laboratory and some little NASA and harp and all these kind of places where people sit down and do them cruelty. Just like how them say, yes, I mean, I watched a documentary the other day. Them build, them build a, um, a big thing. Like it push out fog in the air and it can make rain fall. Yeah, so all of these things is, is man is man a, a mess with the nature man. itself, yeah, man, you know? Do it, God not do nothing. The, pla the, planet, the, the, planet, are, the planet is being corrupted by human beings, not dogs, not cats, not rats. Human yeah. beings is creating the yeah. catastrophes. Yeah, as you said last night, people are going to start going jump and say, oh, God, do this. And they start already. Because they never hear them say the reason why yeah, the earthquake like 300 million, 300,000 people in Haiti are because the people that are working voodoo. Christian yeah, we hear that over and over. Yes. So I don't know. Anyway, give but thanks, Richard. We have to move. Be it. We have to move, yes. Click it. And say, give thanks to everyone who helped uh, make this program be what it is. You understand? Young, young. Who oh, 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 outside us are the, are the, are the, are the, are the um, operator. operator. Where, where, where the fluffy, a, a fluffy diva, me call her, you know. Fluffy diva, yes. Why you love fluffy diva outside there, you know. Shamara, confused. Shamara, believe you me. Sanjay, why you love Sanjay? Believe you me. Why you love me hungry? Yeah, give thanks. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Well, Mota. Blessed. So I go on to Jamaica, you know. Mm. As I tell you already upon the night program, the same set of family them when in England were enslaved, the African demonia. Mm. And them around the place same way. Mm. Queen Elizabeth and her ears and her success of them. When they got a courthouse, you have, you have she them have, you have to talk to. Yeah. Oh. They, they, you yeah. have to go against the Queen. Yeah. And that are the main problem in Jamaica right now. The, look, the police force, them swear, the, 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 the politician them, them swear to the queen and her successors them. You know, them no business with the people, man, yeah. So, I say, Mota. Yeah. So, tell me something. Are you the cause of the last, last week? No, nah, man. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, Mota. I would never do them thing, man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm a finger the right near the button a while ago. Uh, last week thing that go on, man. I you know, never come from here last week, man. Okay. Remember, I okay. listen to the program. I do them thing, that No, but I chew your talk still. I chew your talk. Mota, I yes. see them send one of our emissary come on here in a parliament with you, Dave Cameron. Yes. And he might tell the people, the man, I say, um, let us just forget all that went past yes. and yes. by. And we are good friends. And them offer them Trump change. And the politician, the 62 politician, them. In a parliament, clap on and, and cheer. Mm. So how oh, oh, get, oh, will this thing all get better? Well, to be fair, the Prime Minister never take the money still. Well, that's after the prison thing. But a uh, but, uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth prison and I quote them. You know, so the quote them the shambles. Yeah, well, them, them actually say John Tom versus the Crown. Instead of John Tom versus the people. Like in America, them say... Yeah, the John people. Tam but the, the Crown run everything on you, so. Yeah. Police them have the crown upon them head. The, the parliament still the mates. Eh? Them have nah, the mates. Now nah, get better. Yeah. So, People so have to stand up and make a revolt against this system, yeah. Okay. All right, so give thanks. Yeah, man, cool. Yes. Up here, I'm going to Jamaica yeah, right now. Right, because all, all, all this man, yeah, who are Christian and hardcore, he's he vexed, you know. Don't it crap. Don't you vex. For what? So we are going to the country. What do you mean, oh, I will live. But you spend too much time locked up in a church where nobody knows you know. You don't know where I'm going in a Jamaica. Then how me ask me for what like what? Like like what? Anyway. Eh? Me catch you have God. You can have God and tell you, I know, yes, heal. 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 Yo, Mota. Yes, blessed. We are dealing with. 
Yeah, you hear yeah, me? You hear me? I hear you. Yeah. I hear Bridget call you earlier and I tell you about a killing going on in a Kingston, the near bus park and what have you. Spanish saying? Town, Spanish Town, not Kingston. Spanish yeah. Town. yeah. But you know, I tell the man that them that kind of an argument you want to hear, man. Me? Yeah, man, because last week, me I listen, you know, me I wonder, you know, if, if the man had gone last week, you know. My head. Yeah, man, I want them last week, head gone, man. man. My head gone, head gone. Yeah, man, the government coming with a tragedy, see? Yeah. Say they want the gun them to come off of the street. So yeah. you want know, them have an amnesty thing where they must say, all right, they might give a man 150,000, yeah. yeah. maybe for an M16, see? Yeah. I must say 100,000 for a 9mm, yeah. 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 something yeah. like that, yeah. so, see? Yeah. Yeah. And me, I hear you. Yeah. And the case, the people I say, it's like you're, you're against it. Me, me tell you something against it? The way you say, man. You hear me say me against it? Me, what are the man? Where you say, man? You, you say, man? No, no, why like, tell me where I say, man? I ask if you hear me say me against it. Actually, what do you mean? You hear me? Me, I listen to what you say. Yeah, yeah. all right. What me hear you say, boy? Yeah. If a man carrying a gun and the government said they won't give him 150,000. And he won't give him 100. Tell him to you what? And he won't give him 100. They have to take back the gun. Most of them to you, man. All right, so tell me, ask you a question. Yeah, you have to take back the gun. You have to give them, you know, give them the gun. You should have said, boy, if they have no money, if the government have no money for you, yeah. still give the government the gun. So me ask you a question. When the Prime Minister look for Bunting and say, him going to take the gun, make, make the police take the gun and pile upon him. Oh, you see that? They're going to point for him. The, the, the board gun, when says a board gun, when Bunting says a board gun, I'm, the Prime Minister in a parliament say, he might go take the gun, when they say, he might go give the police them for all the gun from Bunting. Where, oh, you see that? Oh, you see that? Well, me have to go reshuffle back from the party yeah, you know, and go back in You know how much time I played? You know how much time I played a while ago? See, about five times I played since the program start. And then me hear you say again. No, no, tell me what I say, man. No, tell me what I say, because you don't answer what I say. Me me I tell you the Prime you, Minister, look for Bunting in the Parliament and say, since him says a play, play gun, him going to ask the policeman them to point the gun for Bunting. Yeah. Yeah. A lie, me I tell him never say so. No, me hear the party. You want me to play it for you? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, man, do it now. All right, hang up the phone. I'm played for you. Hang up the phone. Let me play it for you because he might talk about something where me and a brother are on joke. Remember, me and the brother are on joke, and he might tell me, say, boy, he might have a whole heap of gun. And I say, Ray, 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 Ray. I say, boy, a hundred and fifty dollars, them tell me, say, for the gun. So if they might give hundred tons, I tell him, say, why I'm going to gun because them, they might go rob you fifty dollars. He might not understand sarcasm. He might not understand what is sarcasm. He might not understand what is. What do you call it now? When you're there at school, what do you call it? Because the Prime Minister looked for him bunting and said, he's going to tell the policeman them for what the hell is going on. He's going to tell the policeman for what the hell is going on. So, how do you see that? And you know, I don't play it. I don't play it right now because I'm going to play four times. I don't want to play it because this man comes upset. I'm going to play four times. So, I don't know how do you see that. He's going to say, he thinks that the, 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 the Prime Minister really want the police them to shoot Bunting for proof says it's a gun. Eh? It's, 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 it's kidding them, kidding. It's joking my joke because Bunting say, where my says I play, play a gun. Bunting say, I play, play a gun. So he might leak back. And he's very quick too. He's very quick to come up with that. When my boy said, so, so called, for, so called, for, for them, them should have gone off the, 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 the PNP office. I mean, I can't take him serious. I can't take his joke business. The whole of them is joking. So when me now say that, no, oh, he might come go like him and come jump on me. So I love hear them thing. Of course, I love hear them. I love hear the thing, of course. Because if I don't, if I don't behave like how I behave as I know, I'm going to do things when I'm going to sorry for. It's just simple. I'm glad to have all a program like this with me. Because if I don't, I don't. Cho, I wanted this man to have a chow. I'm not playing Dr. Rasta. I'm not playing. Play, click, 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 click. I'm not playing. Yes. <laughs> I'm watch my phone and I'll watch the microphone. Okay. All right, I'm going to see where I'm going. Yeah, last call. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Lota, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Eh, hey, why a brother them make you get mad a while ago? No, but I mean, really. Me say that, all right, so tell me something now. Him take that serious? Me hear me that this is a program, and I mean, I know it's a joke on that run. Him take that serious when I me, when me say, if a man go, if the government say, I'll give you $150,000 for your gun, and you yeah. go there and him give you 100000 dollars Tell him to you want back your gun because 150000 dollars in my shot. Him take oh, that. Oh, you see how much gun them find on a wharf in the engine, them are shot. No, I know Jamaica, man. I'm about to run. Eh, but I see him where it's going to Jamaica. I see him where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand me? Our wickedness can't tap because the same big man, them are do wickedness. And them are carried through. Let me say. And them are carried through come for the little man money. But I see the gun, them shine and glisten, man. May I tell you? Brand new sitting them. Yes. In a plastic. Oh, sir. In a plastic. The temple, the way I talked about last night. The what? <laughs> yeah, let me get two of them. The what? The ball them? Yeah, the ball them. You know, say, I'm going to bring the bridge in for the program, make him talk about them. I'm going to bring the bridge in for the program. You know what I'm going to tell you about? Eh? I shout out to some boy in my community where I broke down people's place and I take out their furniture. In a Moko district. You, know, tell, you tell them, say, stop your ass. Because we are going to give them to the police when they find them out. All right, sir. You in understand Moko, me? In a Clarida, you talk about? Yes, in a Moko district. All right, sir. A two house then clean out in a one week, everything. You see, right? So nobody never did it? Nobody not die out. Oh, so the people then gone down far and work hard. Oh, damn. You Tell understand me? All right, sir. Good times, yeah? So, I tell you, and it, whatever I give it, it, but the band do look on them, I sell their away bunch in them, I give it, 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 those I give back for gun. What you say? The band do look on them, I sell their away more than where Prime Minister give back for your gun, man. The, because I want, it no matter if a band do look on or not, the point is that the gun them kill people. Eh, uh-huh. but them are sell for 150 and I want to give you, why would it come back to sell for 150,000, you know, so I'm going to give you 100. Hundred thousand for your machine. Oh, you know, sell myself for hundred and fifty thousand. Eh? Oh, you know that. Then they're all about attack, man. Okay, okay. Eh? Hundred and fifty thousand. more. So how much? The, how much the M sixteen them? Yes, yeah, they are two hundred and fifty. They must sell for the road for. Oh yeah. Eh? Yeah. They must go give more. Okay. Eh? Yeah. They right, must go give more if you want them get up so fast and quick. Yeah. Well, my could see where I got mm. All right. Blessed, yeah? Blessed, Mota. Yes, so we don't take no more cars and other cars. I hit that line up the program, reach a level that know where we have to done. So here I know. We have to go through. All right, so guys, this one was indeed a warm, warm one. So, my people, you can honestly leave your comment down in the comment section and also your own opinion. I want to don't know say me day upon a black unity program so feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you're new big up to each and everyone up until then peace out adios